All right, I'm starting my lower build. I got all my needed parts. Got my lower parts kit, and I got a little bit of oil and some rags and all my tools and you know video to help me along the way. So my sweet tea. So next time you guys see this, it'll be complete lower. I got my uh, stock. It's all painted and dried, and I got the pistol grip in the garage right now. I already painted it, and it's uh, drying. So next time, yeah, next time you see this, it'll be completed, so. Alright, there it is. Uh, it didn't really take me that long, considering it's my, f or, uh, it's my first builds, but uh, I didn't have any problems, really. I just uh, watched f f several different videos, and, you know, I, I was... I always said that I wasn't going to do a lower parts kit build video because I didn't think I was really qualified uh, to be instructing people on how to build one. But after watching the ones that there are on YouTube, at least most of them, uh, they really kind of suck. So and they're they're not really good. They're not really good in depth uh, instructional videos. And I could see so several different parts in the video where I had, you know, I was kind of confused and they weren't clarifying on which parts. I mean, after doing it, it's pretty obvious, uh, you know, only, most of those parts can only go in certain places. But, uh, you know, if it's, your, if it's your first build and you don't know, then you don't know. So, and you need somebody to clarify that for you. But, uh, this one's already built, so maybe if I do another one in the future... You know, I'm thinking about building one for my girlfriend, so maybe, uh, maybe that build, I'll do an in-depth, uh, lower parts kit video. Um, anyways, this, I mean, I didn't really teach you guys much, but this is just more of an update video. Uh, I did get this done, this lower, this, uh, pistol grip is painted, and it's finished, and it turned out pretty good, too. And, uh, so now I'm just waiting on, uh, Rock River to get back to me about my upper and uh and then it'll be complete well close to being complete i still need to order i got a single point sling attachment i have to order and uh my uh troy rail still has to get here and i still need to get a couple other things i still need to get me some sites i haven't really decided on which sites to pick up so if you guys have any suggestions let me know uh, Obviously, there's Magpul, but I didn't know if there was any other brands that people have tried and liked. So uh, I think I'm just gonna stick with Iron Sights on this one. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna pick up an EOTech or an Aimpoint. I don't. I don't really know. But right now, I think I'm just gonna go with Irons because that's really all I have the money for it now, and that's probably what I'm, all I'm gonna shoot with it anyway. So it'll be pretty nice. I guess I haven't mentioned that upper that I'm getting is, is a Rock River Upper. It's a 16 inch stainless upper uh, chrome bolt and carrier. Uh, you know, I got I got their uh, nicer charging handle. Um, I can't really think what else is on it, but it'll be pretty nice. Uh, mainly this is going to be a target gun. Target and uh, Probably, I might hunt with a little bit. I don't know yet. Uh, but it's a 1 and 8, 16 inch barrel. So it should have turned out pretty nice. But once I get that little upper end, I'll complete it. And put that. And I'll show you guys how to put that Troy Battle Rail on, which I think is only like two screws. It won't be a very interesting video. but uh, And then I'll get my sights, and then I'll take it out shooting. So just stay tuned if you want to see how the rest of this build goes. So uh, thanks for watching.